Hi, this is Max from HotOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. And anyway, I've got two Galaxy Note 7s here. And today we're going to go ahead and take a look at how well the Galaxy Note 7 works underwater. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, one of my Galaxy Note 7s as recording device underwater while I use my other Galaxy Note 7 underwater. Got it? So I'm gonna put this underwater. And it's recording. All right, in this first example, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the phone. I'm gonna go ahead and use the pattern to unlock it. All right, that works. Let me see if it works with my iris. So I'm going to go ahead and try using my iris. I do it a little bit closer. Alright, it's not really working well. I think it's because water is floating around. Alright, next I'm going to go ahead and try to browse the web. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the latest news on Google. You can see the keyboard is working flawless. Wow. And scroll works just fine. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go on my Twitter, and I just started the uh, contest here. Let me just go ahead and randomly uh, hit like on one of these tweets, and also reply back real quick. And this is all underwater. Wow. That is pretty cool. So you can fully use the Note 7 underwater. You can type, you can scroll. It won't work with your hand, but it will work with the S Pen. That's pretty awesome. All right, next, next example, let's go ahead and take a video and photo. So let's start recording a video. Now with the S7 Edge, you can also record videos and take photos, but sometimes it turns off by itself. And you'll have to use your volume keys to set it to take photos or record videos. Now with the Note 7, the good thing is you can go ahead and simply press on the record button and it will actually start recording a video. All right, full control, you can go ahead and stop it. Now let's go ahead and switch the camera. And let's go ahead and take a selfie here. And if you swim a lot, you can get some excellent shots of your kids underwater, while they're underwater. You'll have to be underwater. You get what I mean. Of course, the main feature of Note 7 is that you can write notes underwater. Let's go ahead and try that real quick. So let me go ahead and draw Odie here. And save it. Yes, that looks very good. All right, I'm, I'm really impressed. You know, a lot of you might think this is not useful, but I actually used to take my S7 Edge swimming, and one of the problems was even though you could type after it got wet, it's not perfect, and the water, you have to really completely let it dry to use it fully. Now with the Note 7, you can really use it, just use it underwater with the S Pen. It's super accurate. So long as it's actually underwater, it works just the same as if you're using it uh, dry. So that is really, really cool. One of the biggest complaints with the S7 Edge was that even though it was waterproof, when it's underwater, I can't actually use the phone, press anything. The only thing I can do is record a video or a photo using the volume keys, but otherwise the phone doesn't work. Now, if you swim often, that's where the Note 7 will solve all of your underwater problems. I was really amazed how well the Galaxy Note 7 works. So long as you use the S Pen, the phone is fully functional underwater. You can type, you can make videos, and anything you want to do with your phone, you can pretty much do it with the Galaxy Note 7. I would say that's a first for a smartphone, so I highly recommend it if you're in the water often, maybe you're a swim teacher, or maybe you're a stock trader, you're in the swimming pool often, maybe you need to get that trading done underwater. Or maybe not. Anyway, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay on Android.